I don't care what any of you say. Anthony Richardson's true colors are coming out. And low key, this is very low key, always knew he was this type of person. This may not seem like the biggest deal in the world, but it tells you everything you need to know about him. Trust me. The one thing I've learned in this life as I've gotten older and slightly matured a little bit is that people's true colors eventually are going to come out. It's not a matter of if they're going to come out, it's a matter of when. It's going to happen. I got to give it to some people though. They're really good at hiding it and I'm sure many of you out there, you know people like this. But, and I have a big but, I don't care how long they think they can manipulate you, eventually they're going to slip up and those true colors are going to be revealed. For football players though, I think it's a little different because it's harder for them to hide it compared to your regular person. Normally, I'm not saying 100% of the time, but I'm saying more times than not, the way a quarterback, running back, wide receiver acts on the field, that's how they act off of the field as well. The one example that comes to my mind, maybe the best example I can use, is Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel was a cocky, arrogant prick on the field, and that's how he was off the field. Johnny Manziel felt like he was invincible, the best thing since sliced bread on the field, and that's how he felt off the field. That's how how he acted he had a little ego to him which i don't think there's anything wrong with but i think the greatest comparison in the world is he acted like a frat boy on the flip side you got guys like justin herbert peyton manning who are some of the most humblest people you ever meet i could go on and on i think you get the point but in today's video on this beautiful and lovely saturday we're here to talk about how anthony richardson's true colors are coming out ladies and gentlemen what anthony richardson just did it should tell you everything you need to know about this young man i know hindsight's 2020 but for some odd reason i always had this good feeling this was the type of person he actually was we're gonna talk all about that in today's video we're not doing no intro none of that it's relatively simple if you like the content consider joining our community we're just a bunch of guys and girls that like football if you don't want to join that's cool too i'm at blah blah to crap up now without further ado let's get it Let's just get straight into it. We may talk about what Hendon Hooker said after this main topic. I haven't decided, but we're getting into Anthony Richardson first. This story and this entire situation I'm about to show you and we're about to get into, it speaks volumes about Anthony Richardson's character. Let me give you some context. So this was before the NFL draft. A ton of the guys that the Colts thought they might draft, they had them together for a big dinner. I hope that makes sense. All the draftees, they were in a room together eating food. And I'm going to show you what it says word for word right here. During a dinner attended by all potential draftees, the room was was left in disarray as everyone started to leave. However, Richardson chose to stay behind and began clearing the tables before the staff returned to clean up. If you don't understand this, let me explain. Richardson and all of his buddies or the people at the event, they were eating and the other guys, not Richardson, but the other guys there, they left a mess and they walked out. And instead of Richardson having this big head and ego and walking out as well, thinking he's some big time hot shot because he's going to be a top five NFL draft pick, you know what he did? He said, no, nah, let me stay behind and clean it up. Keep in mind, this is what is so impressive about all of this. This is really who he is. There wasn't any cameras around whatsoever. Because nowadays, you know what I'm talking about. People just do stuff for cameras. He didn't do this for cameras. He did this because it's the type of person he is. Continuing along, so as he's cleaning it up all by himself, the other guys didn't help, Troy Vinson, if you don't know who that is, I'll show you right here, the NFL's Vice President of Football Operations, came up to Richardson and told him that he didn't need to do it. And you know what happened next? Richardson said, and this is word for word, that it was unfair to expect the staff to clean up the mess left by the draftees. Richardson insisted on staying to help until the room was completely tidy, even though he was given the option to leave. Ah, oh, man. I remember seeing this. I saw it late last night, and even now, just going back over this with all of you guys, I don't know why this is getting me emotional. I'm not saying I'm going to cry, but this just does something to me. I think what I'm trying to say is, I really appreciate it and it made me happy. I don't know if that sounds weird or corny, but it's just a good feeling to know there's great people out here. And I know there's great people out here, but it's an even better feeling to know a guy like this who just got paid $30 million, he's on top of the world, he still has humility. I mean, come on now, I'm talking to my guys here. I know we got some lady viewers, but this is for my guys. We all have egos. If you say you don't have an ego, you're straight up lying. We all like to think we're the man and we're the big time hotshot. And Anthony Richardson, in one of the biggest moments of his life, when he could have had a huge ego, he decided not to. I'm not going to sit up here and act like I know his family situation because I don't, but whoever raised this man, they did a good job. And he's so young too. And remember, we talked about this on draft night. This was part of the reason as to why Anthony Richardson got taken over Will Levis by the Colts. The Colts were worried about Will Levis's attitude problem because I'm not saying this is true. This is according to allegations and rumors and reports. Apparently, Will Levis, 
you know, he thinks he's all that. I don't want to dive into that too much because I don't want to turn this into a negative video, but if you know, you know. There's been a lot of rumors going around that Will Levis, he's got a little cockiness to him. He's got a little of that, I guess you could say, Baker Mayfield to him. I can't emphasize enough how much I love this, but let's continue on. Richardson also told Vincent, quote unquote, we left this room in an unacceptable condition and it's not right for us to expect these staff to clean it all up. You see, that also speaks volumes to his character because most people, what are they going to say? Oh yeah, that's their job. That's their job to clean it up. No big deal. I think a great comparison is it's the same principle when you pick up something in the grocery store and you decide three aisles later you don't want it, so you just throw it in some random place. What do most people say? Oh yeah, well it's the store's job to fix all this stuff and clean it up. Same thing with carts and buggies. The people that don't push the carts to where they need to go, well they say, oh yeah, well that's their job to get them. It's just little things like that. Anthony Richardson, even though it is their job, he still didn't feel entitled enough to leave the room dirty and filthy. And I know, I know what a lot of you are going to say, Matt, come on, man. Why are we talking about this? This ain't a big deal. And I understand that perspective. You may not think it's a big deal, but I do. It's little stuff like this that is going to show you how people really are. This may not seem like the biggest deal in the world, but it tells you everything you need to know about them. Trust me. And hold on, hold on, hold on. Since we're talking about it, let me bring this up. I'm going to remind you yet again. This happened before he was drafted by the Colts. So I don't want to hear anybody try to say, oh, yeah, well, of course he's doing that. They just paid him $35 million. No, 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 no. This was before the draft. That's what makes it even 10 times more impressive. As I'm looking at all this, I just stumbled across this video on Twitter, and I think you guys, you would really like seeing this. Don Kleeman, hope I'm saying that correctly, he tweeted out, The guy seems to have such a good head on his shoulders. I captured and shared a recent video of him just appreciating the situation he's in and how quote-unquote happy he is to be the NFL with the Colts. And here's what he's talking about. Matt wrote a clip. I just been all smiles. I've been grateful to be here. You know, I'm extremely thankful to be here. It's exciting. You know, all I gotta worry about is football and and making sure I'm doing the right things in life. You know, so that's the best part. You get to play with great guys. You know, I got great coaches. So I'm very thankful for this organization. and I'm happy. Man, oh man, I don't know what it is. That just makes me smile. It makes me happy. I love this kid. I love everything about him. How can you not like him? I don't care what any of you say. Anthony Richardson's true colors are coming out. And low key, this is very low key, always knew he was this type of person. Ever since he arrived at Florida, he was always this nice, humble young man who had zero problems off the field. And when you're looking for a franchise quarterback, that's what you want. You don't want a quarterback who acts like a wide receiver. What I mean by that? Well, most wide receivers act like divas. You want your quarterback to be level-headed and be calm, cool, and collected, and that's what Anthony Richardson is. But to go on top of that, great person, great human. Also, check this out. I'm going to end the video off with this. So the Colts schedule, it just got released. And the first thing I noticed with this is your first 10 games are very winnable. I mean, seriously, take a look at week 4 through 10. You got the Rams, winnable game. Titans, they don't even have a quarterback. You got the Jags, yeah, they're all right. Browns, Saints, Panthers, and Patriots. None of those are outstanding teams. The Colts could do something special this year, but guess what? And this is what I can't wait to watch and what I'm looking forward to the most. It's all up to Anthony Richardson. Just in this 10-game stretch alone, if he does good, I think they could go 7-3. and three. But if he does bad, I think they could go 3-7. and seven. It's all up to him, but what he did and what we talked about in today's video, I love it so much. I could go on and on. I could sit up here for three hours and we could talk about how much I love this. I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts down below. But, uh, right